All right, so let's see if Sheila here will cooperate for the camera. Oh, come on, girl. There you go. So Sheila is a red-sided garter snake, and she's got kind of an interesting backstory. Um, I got her almost two years ago, not quite. Uh, and she was advertised on Craigslist. Apparently a, uh, a Cornell student had taken her in. And um, her mother was wild caught in, I want to say Iowa, one of the Midwestern states. And brought back to New York to Cornell University where she gave birth. And uh, Sheila here is one of the babies. Um... The woman that sold her to me said that she was a plains garter snake, but clearly she's not. She's a red-sided garter snake. And yeah, she's a, so, she, so she's about two years old. And um, one of my favorite snakes in my collection. I just love her. She's so inquisitive, so active, always checking out what you're doing. Garter snakes are greatly underrated as pets. Plus, you know, if you do, if you don't want to feed your snake mice. Uh, clearly she'll eat other things. She eats fish and earthworms, but I also feed her pinky mice. Mostly she eats pinky mice. But, um, so she eats twice a week. Gar snakes generally should be fed more often than other snakes because they have a higher metabolism, or so I've read. So she gets to eat two meals a week. And she is indeed a female. They sexed her apparently at, uh, at Cornell University and I think they must add a couple uh, students doing it because she's got a few little kinks in her tail and I think that's from where they applied too much pressure or their fingernails were cutting into her or just rough handling from trying to to pop her yeah, she's a beautiful garter snake I really want to get more garter snakes she's the only one I have at the moment but I definitely want to up my collection <clears throat> black necks, checkers, maybe a California red sided. That would be, that would be great. But for now, she's the only one. And she's living in a 20 gallon tall tank. She wasn't a 10 gallon, but how you know she's so active that I, I felt kind of bad keeping her in such a small tank. Wanted to give her some more room. And plus, I wanted to give her a taller tank because when she freaks out, she she jumps. And she's almost gotten out of the 10 gallon tanks a few times. And that's a frozen silver side, by the way. Thawed, of course, but once frozen. <laughs> 